Welcome to the Video University webcast. Whether you produce corporate, wedding, or any kind of video, there's a lot to be made in duplicating the videos you've produced. Sean Lamb just did a video review for our blog about the tower duplicator that he built. Check it out at the Video University blog. Now, you may not need the kind of duplication volume that Sean does. If you want a disc publisher that both prints and duplicates without your having to touch it, then a disc publisher may be right for you. Today I'm going to review the Primera Bravo 2 disc publisher. It can duplicate and print 50 DVDs or CDs, and it uses a robotic arm so you don't have to feed discs one at a time. It has one drive and prints at 4800 DPI on inkjet printable discs. It does require a computer, Mac or PC, and connects with a USB 2.0 interface. It includes software for duplication and printing. Once you set it up, it's very easy to use. I found you can use your computer to do other things while it's duplicating, but many people advise you not to do this, so you may want to duplicate when you're not using the computer. You're not supposed to use it with the cover open, but for this demonstration, I've tricked the door sensor so we can see just how it works. The disc publisher is pricey, about 1700 bucks. I bought mine used on the Video University trading post for $500. If you want to use one, you may find it on the trading post, eBay, or elsewhere. But be careful with the model descriptions. Some are printers only, even though they look nearly identical to the publishers, which do both copying and printing. For instance, I found one on eBay where the guy called it a disc publisher, but it was only a printer. The next step up from the Bravo 2 is the Bravo Pro which has two drives and can handle 100 discs at a time. After installing the software, I had some trouble getting it working, so I eventually called Primera Tech Support, who determined that the problem was a conflict with my internal DVD burner. He suggested I use the data disk option instead of the image job or other options. And this has worked just fine for duplicating DVDs and CDs. The machine is very easy to use. First, it burns the discs, then prints them. You do have to use inkjet printable discs because it prints right on the disc itself, not on a label. The robotic arm and print head move with enough force to make a light table wobble, which is kind of funny, but the machine does what it says it will do, and that's a good thing. The biggest problem is the cost of ink cartridges. You need two cartridges, a color cartridge and a black and white. These sell for about $36 each, plus shipping. You probably won't find them locally. Depending on the combination of, of colors you print, it should give you about 100 copies on a cartridge, but if you use mostly magenta in your prints, that can drop to only 75 copies. Either way, that's expensive printing. Since the print engine is a Lexmark printer, people have tried using the Lexmark 26 cartridge, but that doesn't seem to work. I found a refill kit from a small company called DVD Ink Refills. Good name. Their refill kit for the Bravo 2 sells for $40 and provides 10 color refills and 3 black refills. And it comes with an instructional DVD. I'll be buying that one soon. It should save me a lot of money. I'll let you know how it works out. But this could affect the Primera warranty, so read your warranty. So there it is. I can recommend this automatic printer burner. It's expensive, and so are the ink cartridges, but it looks like there's a way to refill them inexpensively. After a difficult time getting it going, tech support was very helpful. The machine has performed well for me. Duplication is a profit center, so the more video services you sell, the more DVDs you'll have to duplicate. Go sell some more video services, and always give your customers a duplication option. Please visit VideoUniversity.com. If you have questions or comments about the Primero Bravo publishers, we'd love to hear from you. We don't check YouTube very often, so to ensure that we see your comments, please make them on the VideoUniversity.com blog. While you're there, subscribe to our free newsletter. Thank you for joining us. Happy trails!